Craftsman, and today I'm here with Joe, and we're going to highlight a project that Joe's been working on here in the shop. So Joe, can you tell us what you're building? Yeah, so I'm building a rocking horse for my three and two year old uh, son and daughter for them to rock on. They got so much energy and they have to get it out somewhere, so we figure a horse is a safe place for them to. So when I look at this thing, I see lots of layers. Can you tell me what it's made out of? Yeah, this is made out of three quarter inch Baltic birch plywood. So three quarter inch thick, how did you get this thing to be 10 inches wide? Yeah, so uh, it comes with plans where you, uh, you cut out a bunch of different layers and then you laminate them together to form it. So you glue this thing all up, Yeah. glue and clamps everywhere. Yep. How did you get this awesome Porsche contour shape? <clears throat> so yeah, with, it's uh, the laminations are pretty close and then you're just shoring them up. Okay. So instead of jumping in to a solid wood rocking horse, you can start with one of these just shave down the layers and then it's a lot easier to form the horse that way yeah instead of going freehand we're gonna have to get some shots so you guys can see the contours of this thing it is pretty unbelievable what joe's been able to do can you show us what tools you use yeah to do? yeah so uh initially i thought about getting gouges and chisels okay but that would take a long time and a little bit more of a trained hand and so this one this is a, a cuts all uh, grinding disc. So you put it on an angle grinder and it comes with different coarseness. You can get very coarse all the way to fine. I started with a medium. If somebody does jump into one of these, I would suggest going with coarse or very coarse. So what about when you get a little more fine tuned? How do you do that? Is there another tool you use? Yeah, so I'll be getting a flat sander. Okay. Flat sander, yeah, just hand sanding with very coarse grits like 80. Okay. Really great just to, to get it down because it is a lot of glue in plywood so that's why that thing dulled a lot already and gotcha but they do say uh you can use gouges and chisels on even plywood and if they're sharp enough they'll, they'll still cut it so the horse is sitting here on some walnut mm -hmm. and talk to us about the frame joe and what what's this thing all about so yeah uh i don't have a lathe and so I decided to do something different than just uh, some normal little posts, you know, that you would see on, on a table or something. Okay. Uh, and so I ground down some posts there. These are gonna, these angle brackets here are gonna be put on here and these will be put behind the legs. And so it will more glide than, than rock, just a normal nice. little rocker. It looks like a fun project. I think the kids are going to enjoy it for maybe many generations. Yeah, yeah, this is supposed to be an heirloom. And there is a hollow center here okay. where you can put stuff. So did you put a time capsule in the center? Yeah, so yeah, I wrote some stuff in there. And, nice. Yeah, so that's that's one of the traditions with the rocking horse like this. So it's like a Trojan horse. Yeah, right. <laughs> breaking this thing open is going to be really tough. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for uh, checking this out, guys. We're going to show you some close-up shots of the the shape of this thing, and thanks Joe for yeah, showing this. Absolutely. Thanks.